Jean Paul, what do we have here? Uh, here you have basically the evolution of our program. Mm -hmm. You know, when you come and you drive for GP experience, you get all the coaching, everything. And if you come back a few times with us, you will probably buy this car and put you in your garage. Not exactly in your garage at the Thermal Club, because Lotus, um, Mike Sage dealership, will basically give you a chance to buy that car mm -hmm. and uh, to give you all the full service and to enjoy the car at the Thermal Club or at any other location. So this is the ultimate gift, I would say. Yeah, <laughs> this is a little bit more than the driving yeah, school. Yeah. That's, this yeah. is about a million bucks, but you're gonna go out there and your car is ready, your crew is ready. Anytime you want, you just go out there and you jump in this thing and you run it like a madman all day and then you drive home. Yeah. Not in this though. No, no, no. Yeah. You get this. it, you're in your... back in your Camry. Yes. Yeah, right. And you drive, or to south. Yeah, and right. you drive home. Yeah. yeah. So this is a Lotus chassis and Cosworth so, motor. Cosworth this engine. is have the same uh, V10 3 liter. Uh, this this one is a is a V10, yes, and it's same configuration that the GP Experience car. Uh, and after you became a full addict, I say, just buy one of this one. <laughs> All right, <laughs> done and done. The, the, the carbon fiber work on it is pretty amazing. And yes, this actually are covers that hide tubular frame pieces. For you know, aerodynamics? For, yeah, I think yes. mostly for, for aero, yes, for and, and I guess it protects yeah. it as well a little yeah. bit. And also, when Lotus designed that car for people who want to own and, and drive their own Formula One car, they basically uh, design all the components that make your life a little bit easier, you know? It, it, um, yeah, sorry, go ahead. So that's, um, that, that, that's basically the way they, they design uh, that car. And uh, Mike Sage Automobile, uh, here in the US, at the Terminal Club, of you will offer we offer you this, this amazing opportunity to own one. So it's just the kind of thing where you, no matter how much money you had, or maybe if you were Lord Hesketh, you could have or something, but he was too fat to fit in one of those cars. <laughs> but in the, in the modern day, you, you really, you couldn't drive one if you wanted to. No, no, no matter how much money you had, no matter who you knew, you just couldn't have the F1 experience. Now you can have the F1 experience and you know it's like you're not going to be able to fly a fighter jet off a carrier you're just not allowed to it's never going to happen but it doesn't matter how rich you are you're not allowed to this is one of those things where if you got some money you can drive an f1 car you can and you know our program fit people six two six three tall up to 240 250 pounds you can fit in the car. Well, I would say so if you're know, over, Goldberg's gonna fit in a car, you're over right? 240, you don't need yeah. to try it. So you should try to get in it. All right. You have the uh, carbon fiber tub. You have yeah. the steering wheel that comes off. It's a lot easier than getting into my 610, I gotta tell you. <laughs> now the steering wheel would come off and that would be easier. Right, right. And then so you can your... see how snug you get in there. Right. Right. And assuming wow. now you gotta sit down low you got to really scoot down, and right. this comes in like that. Wow. And the, the driving position is just yeah. incredible. Yeah. So what, what we will do now, we will tell you how Matt started yesterday. Mm -hmm. So basically, the mechanic will start the engine. When mm -hmm. the engine starts, you do nothing. You wait, there is one coordinator in front of the nose of the car who will tell you this which means that you have to push your foot for the clutch oh, the just clutch. only for the start because you are paddle shift. Right. And then when you do that, you keep, you will have some let coming up and you have to engage the gear in second gear for start, not first gear, mm -hmm. okay, because we try to make it smooth for people. You will release the clutch slowly, mm -hmm. keeping the RPM and playing with the clutch and the RPM. And then you are yeah, on the track. Sort of it, it, it yes. really will jerk around if you don't, if you, yeah. you gotta, it's, and it's easy to stall out. Yeah, now I see the radio button, but I don't see the AM, FM designation. <laughs> no, no, no. Just, no. Just Is there a FM? drink button? Is there a drink button as well? Because I it's got the the gray on the back. <laughs> Wow, I, I, I got to tell you, the driving position from a guy who drives in a much different position, you you feel so much more connected. Yeah. You're so much lower, but you feel so much more connected it, to the yes. road. And, and also, I'm used to having a bunch of stuff in front of me, like a huge yeah. hood with yeah. a lump in it that you can't see over. You know, this just feels there's, so there's much no more There's no more heel-toe driving. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's yeah. so yeah. fast and instant that even the shifts, you can see, you can feel it. There's right. a lot going on. And then the noise is phenomenal. Right, right. 
Wow, and it's right behind your head. So yeah. It's such a so it feels like this and no windscreen essentially. I mean, so such a, a visceral experience. Correct. Yeah, I would I would say I, now when we, I ran when I was done, you could see the bugs that I killed with with the front of my helmet. <laughs> we will uh, we will this particular chassis does not have a motor in it, so we cannot fire this up, but. We will show you some footage of Matt driving yeah. and the sights and sounds of that motor and that car. Even if this had a motor, it's too complicated to start. You need right. a team of people. We need to, <laughs> he started to heat the water yesterday yes, to yeah. run through the system. And, yeah, right? and that, that, that's, a, that, that's a good point. You know, we need to prepare the car. We need yeah. to warm the car. Right. You don't start a Formula One car with a key or with a push button, you know? No. Well, even my old... <laughs> Uh, Dotson Newman race cars have a, a list about 16 yeah. instructions to do. This about has a guy in the, the back oil. with a giant shaft and an air gun, and he and he plugs it plugs it in and fires it up for you. Wow! From the back of the from the back of the car. Wow! Oh, I mean, physically cranks. Yeah, it, he literally right? just takes a giant. Yeah. Looks like a giant air gun, and he right. it's a shaft about that long. Right. And he plugs it in the back of the car and he fires it up for you. So, uh, Jean-Paul, tell us uh, one more time, uh, gpexperience.us is where yeah. we go? Yeah, gpexperience.us, you know, um, and uh, the you can... The next four events are yes, at you, Coda? Yeah, we have a Circuit of the America. We will be back at Thermal, NOLA, which is in New Orleans, uh, Florida, and uh, also Las Vegas with Spring Mountain. Well, really exciting and really cool, and once again, why the terrorists hate us, ladies and gentlemen, because <laughs> this is what we do. That's right. So, until next time, this is Adam Carolla for Jean-Paul and Matt the Motorator, DeAndrea saying keep the air in the spare and the bag in the wheel. Yeah.